Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of Earth to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start this, don't forget to subscribe to my Baka channel. Please check the link in the description box below. So, without further ado, pass in your pants and let's get started. They enjoy making fun of humanity, putting brushstrokes of truth in front of our faces. They really love it, but from here we can only say that thanks, they only help us discover the truth in one way or another. Naboo's capital city, Thede, is a clear reference to Tartaria. Form and matter are a frozen song, sounds, resonance, which are the song of God. Audio, radio, video etc. come from the word deus or dios, which are Latin and Spanish for God, or a better translation would be from God. Sound frequencies and vibrations play a key role in our ancient history. Sound manifests light in physical form which includes you. Your body is compassed 70% of primarily water. How do you think different frequencies may affect your health, good and bad? The Kola Tesla's tower also was placed on top of an underground water system the same way Giza was, to harness the piezoelectricity of the currents via mechanical stress of the water, given that water itself is a crystalline structured element. The Washington Monuments is likely built atop a similar water system, and used in the exact same way, to distribute energy along with all the other obelisks constructed around the Earth. Obelisk is an ancient Vedic symbolism, and represents an energy amplifier. Hence the Washington Monument literally nesting inside the sacred geometric pattern of the Vesica Pisces, an important sacred geometric pattern vital to creationism itself, denoting the synthesis or birth of energy from zero-pointer ether, which gives rise to every sacred pattern thereafter required for the biology of everything in the visible universe. One song. Our ancestors have been utilizing free energy all this time without our knowledge of it. History is a cover-up and fabrication. Historians tell us that the Egyptians cut out giant blocks by hand and moved them hundreds of kilometers. Also, by the hieroglyphs, they seem to be giant people. You decide. I will repeat this as many times as I can whenever I find another related image. These gold artifacts from Kincaid Tunnel are on display in the Smithsonian Institute at Washington, D.C., from the Grand Canyon. The back two artifacts are for King Akhenaten and Queen Nefertiti. It all started in 1909, when purported Smithsonian Institution explorer, G.E. Kincaid, discovered strange caverns during an expedition directed by Smithsonian anthropologist S.A. Jordan. The entrance to the cavern was nearly inaccessible, but Kincaid was able to get in to make an incredible discovery. The enormous caves, which radiated out from a center, cavern-like spokes on a wheel, were full of artifacts, including statues, copper weapons, even granaries full of seeds. Its size indicated that 50,000 people could live inside comfortably. In a restricted area of the Grand Canyon, there are pyramids and caves full of hieroglyphics and Egyptian relics. Many people do not know about them, as this information has been suppressed by the federal government for about a century. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Bronze Cossack Cannon, 17th to 18th centuries. Or rather, its largest remaining part. 
found in a forest in the east of Venetia region. Maybe it was something other than a cannon. You decide. A creature similar to Yoda found in ancient manuscripts. An ancient manuscript was found in the Library of Great Britain, which depicted a character similar to Yoda from Star Wars. The manuscript dates from 1300 to 1340. This is a Tartarian train station. Sydney, Australia. Was destroyed by fire in 1950s. The city of Ani was the capital of Bagratid Armenian Kingdom between 961 and 1045. It was famous as the city of 1001 churches. It features lots of religious buildings on its territory. This place is still sacred for Armenians. Today, the remains of the lost capital of Armenia include forgotten ruins scattered over a vast area. Not long ago, secret water channels, mysterious monk cells, meditation rooms, huge corridors, intricate tunnels, traps, and corners were discovered under the ruins of the ancient city. This ancient Mayan statue has a QR head. It seems quite a good representation of our currently asleep brothers and sisters. A message from the past. If I lived nearby, I would test it. The Jegrid Monastery and the Legend of the Holy Spear In the 4th century, the Jegrid Monastery was founded on the site of a sacred spring originating in the cave. The history of Jegrid and traditions that date back to pre-Christian times, Armenians were influenced by the Persians and their Zoroastrian religion. At first, the monument was known as Erevink, and after the 13th century, it became known under the name of Jegard, an Armenian meaning spear or lance, in memory of the Holy Spear, said to have been stored there. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus was stabbed in his side by a lance whilst hanging from the cross. As a result, this weapon is believed to possess supernatural powers, and it became an important and much sought after Christian relic. As of today, the Holy Spear can no longer be seen in the Jegrid Monastery, as it is now resides in the Museum of the Etchmiadzin Monastery in the spiritual capital of the country. Pakistan's Indus High Valley are some of the most complex and diverse petroglyphs on Earth. Ancient Shashal glyphs on the Karakram Road in the Gilgit Baltistan region date back to the Stone Age to the birth of Islam. Glyphs cover rocks spanning more than 100 kilometers. The writings and drawings cover several languages and religions, and symbolize people dating back over 10,000 years. Sadly, some of these magnificent sculptures are being jeopardized by the modern hydroelectric projects planned in the Indus Valley. The Codex Gigas, also known as the Devil's Bible, is famous for three reasons. It is the largest illuminated medieval manuscript in the world, it is so perfectly and uniformly written that the feat appears inhumane. Written sometimes between 1204 and 1230, the book is 92 cm tall 50 cm wide, 22 cm thick, and weighs around 79 kg. It initially contained 320 leaves of vellum reputedly made from the skins of 160 donkeys. What makes the Codex all the more intriguing is, the nature of the writing, since there are no signs of age, disease, mood, or a natural evolution in style. In fact a legend regarding its origins was recorded in the Middle Ages, stating that it was written by a monk who broke his vows and was sentenced to be walled up alive. In order to avoid this harsh penalty, he promised to create a book that would include all human knowledge and that it would be ready in one night. When he realized that he could not complete the task alone, he asked Lucifer to help him in exchange for the monk's soul. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. 
You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.